guys in this video let us learn to use few methods in the streams api find first get or else or else get or else throw let us see a basic example using string and then move on to an advanced example using user defined classes now let me open eclipse so here i am having a list of courses which is of type string convert the list into a stream and call find first method find first is used to return the first element in the list but the return type is not the value itself rather it returns an optional because the data type of this list is string the return type also is of optional and the generic type is string so let us get the value in an optional optional angle bracket string optstr equal to arrays dot as list dot stream dot find first let us import optional it is from java dot util package now let us call the method of optional optstr dot get this get method returns a string if your list has integer values this get method will return an integer if your list is having double values this get method will return double in case if your list is having user defined object then this get method will return the corresponding object so let me call the get method the return type is string string force equal to optstr.get in the next line let us print the course let me save and run the application of course you know we will get the value as java so now we have seen how to use find first and get method let us do few more modifications in this let me call the filter method dot filter get the list of courses that starts with a filter takes predicate as parameter so we need to give the implementation of predicate inside this filter method within round bracket it takes one parameter str the data type is string so i have given it as str you don't have to specify the data type str dot starts with a dot find first so in this case you are filtering the elements that starts with a so i will have only one value which is angular let me save it and run now here i am getting angular again i am going to modify this application instead of a let me give m in this case your filter returns an empty list you are trying to call find first on an empty list so the optional will be empty and you are trying to call get method on an empty optional so this will throw an exception no such element exception let me save this and run you can see that it is throwing no such element exception let me click on this line so the exception occurs in this particular line how to modify this application so that i am not getting any error if the value is present it should print the value if the value is not present it should not print the value so how can we do that there are few methods in optional with which we can achieve this so here i am going to use a condition if opt str dot you can see there are two main methods is empty and is present if the value is present this will return true if the value is empty this will return true so you can use any of this condition to check for true or false value let me use is present if opt str dot is present then get the value and print the value if the value is not available it will print nothing let us run this application you can see that there is no output in the console but suppose if i change this m back to a save it run the application because opt str is not empty this method returns true so you can easily call opt str dot get optional dot get okay this is one way of doing this application there is also one other way wherein i don't have to check in for this condition rather i can go in for or else let us see how to use this or else i'll copy the same code and i will modify it here arrays dot as list 
dot stream dot filter dot file first here directly we can call dot get so in this case i am getting the force directly the return type is a string first we will see the right value and then we will modify it oh, let me run the application it returns angular but if i give m i'll get the same exception just like how i have got in the earlier stage no such element exception in this case i don't want to get it in an optional i don't want to go in for these methods like is present is empty for me if the value is present it has to return the value if the value is not present it has to return me a optional string that is an optional value so for that we can go in for a method called as or else so here you can see or else string other you can see the definition if a value is present returns a value otherwise returns other that is the string that you are going to add within this or else so let me use this method no course available let me save this so in this case if i give a save it run the application it will print angular but if i change this to m in this case you don't have a course starting with m so find first will return an empty list because the value is not available or else will be called automatically and it will print no course available here you can see the output so this is for or else now let us see one other example wherein we are going to use a method called as or else get let me comment this part it is the same story arrays dot as list dot stream dot filter dot find first instead of or else we are going to use or else get here you can see the definition of this method or else get takes supplier as parameter supplier always returns a value so you need to provide the implementation of supplier inside this or else get method so here also if the value is present it returns a value otherwise it returns a result that is given by the supplier so now let us use this method i need to provide the implementation of supplier supplier doesn't take any parameter arrow it has to return a value if you are going to use within curly braces then you can say return not available if i want to give it in a single line i can remove the return statement also and in the next line let us print the course let me save it and run the application the value is not present so it returns not available if the value is present it returns the value okay so now we have seen how to use or else get the next one is or else throw in case of or else throw if the value is available it will return the value if the value is not available it will throw an exception so now let us see an example of or else throw I'll copy the same code. Let me comment this part. Now the method that we are going to use is or else throw. In case of or else throw, there are two methods. The first method is without parameters. So in this case also, if the value is present, it returns the value. If the value is not available, it throws no such element exception. In case of the second method. it takes supplier as parameter so you can throw whatever exception you want so see here if a value is present returns a value otherwise throw an exception produced by the exception supplying function so whatever exception you want to throw you can throw that so let me select that or else throw no parameter arrow throw new number format exception i don't have any specific exception so i am just simply giving number format exception and because we are writing it in one single line i don't have to use throw keyword also in this with a semicolon now let me save this i am filtering the elements based on the letter here so i am having a value it will return note come back i'll change it to d save this run the application again so it has to throw number format exception so this is how you will use or else throw or else throw is a very important method whenever you are working in bigger applications 
assume you are having a list of objects you want to filter the objects based on a particular criteria if it is available it has to return that particular object if it is not available it has to throw a user defined exception so in those scenarios we will be using rl throw it is used very widely so this is a basic example in which you are working on a list of string what if there is a scenario i am having a list of user defined objects so for that i have created an employee class my employee class is having three instance variables name salary city a default constructor parameterize constructor get a set of methods and two string now let us try all these methods with a list of employee objects so this is my class let me create a list of employees this is my list of employees now let me convert the employee list into a stream dot stream and called find first method find first you can see it returns an optional which is of type employee and you can call get method directly when you call get you can see again it returns an employee object employee employee equal to employees dot stream dot find first dot get the next line let me print the employee object So in this case, it has to return the first object. We have overridden two strings, so it will print it directly. So here I have got the output. Now let us do the same thing. I am going to tweak the application called filter method. Write the implementation of predicate. It takes employee as parameter. Emp dot get city dot starts with or we can go in for dot equals. Bangalore. Dot find first. Dot get. Let me save it and run the application. Now it is working perfectly fine. Instead of Bangalore, let me change this to Pune. This has to throw an exception. No such element exception. Fine. Now instead of using get, what I can use is or else. After filtering, if the list is not empty, return the first employee object. Or else. return a substitutional employee object you can see now rl takes employee as parameter so explicitly you need to create an employee object new employee you can either pass the values of a parameterized constructor or you can go with a default constructor now let me run the application employee name null salary zero city null similarly we can try for rl get So I can use dot or else get or else get also has to return an employee object arrow return new employee this time let me pass the object with values let me run the application now you can see this if you see here or else and or else get look similar there is a subtle difference between or else and or else get. we will discuss about the difference in another video and similarly let us also try one more or else throw dot or else throw so it has to throw new this time let me give new runtime exception employee not found let me save this and run java dot lang dot runtime exception the message that we have passed employee not found so What is the purpose of this find first? Find first is used to find the first element in a list using streams API. If you are using a for loop, it will take so much of time. Rather, the streams API helps us to identify or get the first element in a list. But this find first returns an optional. If you want to retrieve the appropriate value, you need to call get method. The problem with the get method is if your optional is having value it will return the value if your optional is not having a value if it is empty it will throw an exception to avoid the exception you can provide substitutional or optional value by using or else or or else get but if you want to explicitly throw an exception then you can go in for or else throw you don't have to write if employee double equal to null throw new runtime exception rather you can go in for this or else throw method that's all thank you